Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Ben from KCG here, the real one, here to make your day a million times more handsome. And today, we're going to take a look at something kind of interesting. And this is the clone, Amazon clone, of the Emissary Development Handbrake. Now, if you have been living under a rock, you still probably know that the handbrake is probably the most hyped up forward and angled grip of, well, the recent years. Um, the hype train is real on that, and whether you guys like it or dislike it or believe it or don't, it is uh, something that is out there, and you've probably heard of this product. So when I saw one on Amazon for no monies, and knowing that it was a little chai cow knockoff, I had to go take a look. So um, I spent my, mo my own money on this, so no worries on that. And I just wanted to see how well they cloned it, and if it's something that, you know, is... Not necessarily worth your money, because I always say buy American if you can, if you can't buy what you can afford. But what would you be getting for something like this? Well, first of all, I mean, they've cloned it right down to the, the logo there. And then at the top there, they have 101. I think the last one I saw was like 105 for the uh, um, M-Lock model. And they only have the M-Lock model that I've seen so far, um, and they're only in black. I've not seen any of the uh, FTE ones. But um, so it's about $20. And so the normal um, emissary product is about $35 for the black one, just like this. Uh, $40 for like the FDE one, because the FDE is awesome. So basically about half the price of an FDE. So what do you get? Well, first of all, you get the general shape and design. I mean, they did a pretty decent job of copying that. Um, it seems very sturdy. I mean, it's, I don't know how you could <laughs> see it to be not sturdy. Um, it's, you know, it's the way that it's designed is really hard to crush or do any damage to, uh, just like the original. Now, one thing that the, uh, original handbrake has been praised for is its texturing. This is not that. You can see there's like a, like a leather grain texture they decided to use. And there's just an egregious mold line down the front, as you can see there. Just terrible. Um... Does it impact the performance of the part at all? No, not that I can see, but it still looks stupid. Um, but yeah, they did not, they cloned the logo, but they're like, hey, you know what, it is way too much effort to get the grip texture down, so screw it, we'll just do this. So it mounts up just the same, and it works, you know, as you'd expect. Um, but you're definitely not getting the emissary product. You're not getting that kind of quality. Also, you're not, you know, supporting American business. Now, with that, there's a couple things to take in, into mind. Um, again, buy what you can afford, but this is really one of those things where it's, I don't know, I'm not saying that they're taking advantage of people that don't know any better because they do not represent it as the emissary hand stop or handbrake. It's the KR or something elite, whatever the heck it is. Um, but obviously it is a clone of the handbrake. Um, yeah, so the texturing, it, it sucks. It's <laughs> nowhere near as good as a handbrake. Uh, but that's what all I noticed uh, as far as difference um, other than that mold line, which is ridiculous. Now, with certain products like emissaries, there is a certain kind of zen with some of them. Um, you see that with like Arasaka, um, Impact Weapon Components, Forward Controls Designs, um, and a couple others that just have this weird, like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's, it's like everything comes together and works out really well. And it's not flashy, and it's not super hyped up, although this is very hyped up. Um, but the handbrake is sort of that product um, where everything I've seen from Emissary, they have that kind of zen with their products, where you, it's just kind of weird, like, hey, if it's, if it's where it's supposed to be vibe, if that makes sense. Um, if you've ever used any of those things, um, like impact weapons components, the, um, the hand stops and stuff, um, forward controls design at Arasaka, they just have this weird, like, I don't know. Their, their designers just get it compared to some of the stuff that's out there. Um, so we'll be running a little bit more in actual, you know, shooting <laughs> situations. Um, but I mean, right now it's half the price of a regular emissary handbrake. Um, but it is, of course, made in China and does have really obvious signs of not being that quality product that emissary puts out. Is it worth it to pay 40 bucks for like an FDE one versus getting two black ones for the same price? I don't know because that's you and that's your value proposition. 
but all I'm saying is that it is out there. It is something on Amazon, and um, yeah, so we bought it so you wouldn't have to. Um, but it does have the recoil lugs up front, which is nice. So it does lock out pretty well. Um, but other than that, there's really not a whole lot to say about it. It's one-piece design. It comes with the screws. It comes with an Allen wrench. The Allen wrench is a little bit short, so throw one of those in there, and you're good to go. Other than that, guys, I don't have a whole lot else to explain about this product. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. It definitely helps out the video, or the channels, the videos, and all the good stuff. And thank you so much for being here and being wonderful. And you guys have a great rest of your day. Fight!